Penn State opens the season at Wisconsin. A big noon kickoff right here on Fox 43. Joel Klatt will be in the broadcast booth for Fox Sports next to Gus Johnson on the call. For this week's Sunday sit-down, Todd Sadowski catches up with the network's lead analyst to talk about tough openers and another new offensive system to learn for Sean Clifford. There's a nice trend going with these openers across college football. Penn State jumped on it with Wisconsin at Camp Randall. Yeah. Talk about that opener. Well, and, and it's not even just like, listen, every opener is great. Um, it's always exciting. It's even better when it's a good matchup. And now you, you couple that with the fact that we're going to see fans back for the first time in, you know, what is that, 19 months, 20 months. My, the hair on my arms is already raising for what the 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 excitement level, the electricity level is going to be like um, in those stadiums. So that one's going to be an insanely good matchup. Can't wait for it. Uh, Gus and I will be there. You know, we're going to have the studio show out there, so it'll be fun. The results of a game like that, too. I guess fans they, they either panic or they just yeah. get jubilant over that yeah, type yeah. of deal. We're coming off a pandemic year. Mm -hmm. It's an opener. They don't have preseason games, so openers are exciting. But what do they tell you about football teams when you uh, see them? They're really tough. Um, openers can tell you a lot. They can tell you next to nothing, and they're so difficult to predict because we don't see them. There's so many young players in the cyclical nature of college football. There's so many young players that are going to be on the field for the first time. You don't know how they're going to react. Um, you're trying to gel with new offenses, sometimes new coordinators, as is the case with, with Penn State, with Mike Yurchich. So um, it's, it's so hard to evaluate what you're about to see. And then in, in turn, I've seen teams look great week one and go on and have terrible seasons. I've seen teams look terrible in week one and go on and have great seasons. What do you look at, the four-game winning streak at the end for Penn State, or do you concentrate on that five-game losing streak, which obviously was, was a head-scratcher? Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I try not to take or put too much stock in last year for anybody, to be honest with you. But having said that, you'd always rather be coming off of the winning streak than the losing streak. Right. If we're standing here today and we're getting ready for the season in 2021, wouldn't you rather them, let's say it's the same record, but they won their first four and then lost five? Like I wouldn't want that if I was a Penn State, you know, alum or fan or anything. So yeah, you want the winning streak going in. I certainly think of them as more of coming off a four-game winning streak personally as I'm preparing for the game. I'm sure they are too. Now, look, I can't talk to James about Auburn because he won't talk past the opener, mm -hmm. but it's been announced as a whiteout. So mm -hmm. you got SEC Auburn coming to Happy Valley for a whiteout on the 18th. We talk about Camp Randall's atmosphere. What do you think that's going to be like? I know that that program plays in great atmospheres. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I think Brian Harson is an excellent coach. Can't wait to see what he's going to be able to do at Auburn, but good luck because the whiteout is a totally different animal. And I've never even seen it in person, but I used to have long conversations with Urban. He said playing in the whiteout game is unlike any atmosphere he's ever been in, and it's absolutely hands down the most difficult atmosphere uh, to play in. So good luck to Auburn, and you know I think that's going to be a great matchup. So by week three, we'll see what Sean Clifford's going to bring to the field as well. Third, you know, quarterback coach in three yeah. years. It's kind of a weird situation for Sean. Well, I don't have any experience changing systems that much. That's got to be tough. Having said that, I would just say he's got a really good coach now. Mike Yurchich has been around some great programs, um, some really good quarterbacks. He's been around. Um, last year, I thought Texas's offense was excellent. Um, the numbers proved that out. They had their best offense since their national championship run. So Mike knows what he's doing. I would just tell Sean, trust it. That is a great interview right there from the boss, Todd Sadowski. Don't forget, you can see